Triumph 2000 TC, ladies and gentlemen. TC, obviously, twin carburetors, two of which you can see just there. There we are. Very clean. Very, very clean. Got new hose on there. Lots of new bits and pieces. Certainly very bright and very clean example. I think I popped the key in here. Yeah, I did. There we are. Right, let's get it fired up for you. We'll get the right key. No, <laughs> it's going to be the last one, isn't it? Typically, I think it's... Oh, doing it with one hand as well. Should have been better prepared, shouldn't I? Yay, so we're there. Right, off we go. Typical choke, doesn't like staying out. We've got a rev counter there, look, a little additional rev counter there for what it's worth. A voltage meter as well. She sounds sweet enough. That is stone cold. Ladies and gentlemen, I pulled this out first thing this morning together with four or five others it's now probably about two o'clock in the afternoon it's been waiting patiently for me to come along and video and photograph so put the stay away and I'll take you around the rest of the car both inside and out right let's have a look in the inside first like I can say super clean very very clean nice carpets inside Nice door cards. Nice in there. Typical Rover issues though, unfortunately. They all seem to suffer with the same areas don't they right move into the boot oh I put the uh, yes I did put all the paperwork in the boot here look so we can have a quick look through that there's a nice note there it's only four former keepers on the v5 there uh, a folder full of history for uh, uh, bills invoices receipts and so on and so forth uh, some original equipment brochures there, handbooks there for the car, a lubrication manual and then I'll take a couple of photographs of this or maybe you can pause it. This is some information for the new owner so maybe if you pause this video there's two pages of this, that's the first page so pause when you get a minute and read through that then I'll flick over to the second page and again you can pause the video and read through that so there you are, there's a few tips and hints for the new owner which I'll put back in that envelope in a moment or two I'll just shut this down so we can have a quick look around the outside wing there on that one guys and I believe this one too yeah we're obliged to point that out I'm afraid I'm sure you'll appreciate that someone comes along and just buys it blind we don't inform them of the obvious when it is obvious standing in how it is then uh, only leads to problems, isn't it? So there you are. That will give you a quick run round what we've got. 